up? It's your girl, Miss Candy Marie with Sweet Kid Red TV, and we're here at the Branding Group's Business Workshop, Finding Your Light. And I want to talk to some of these celebrities and find out just how they found their life. Himself, Mr. Eric Bellinger. Now, I just want you to know that you have obviously found your light, okay? Because the music that you're making is amazing. Thank you. So, how did you find your light? Man, I think honestly, giving my life to God early, very early, and just allowing Him to lead, you know. So, whichever way I go, I don't never feel like it's the wrong path. I feel like I'm being led. I don't just move fast. You know what I'm saying? I make sure it's always calculated and things that I feel that he's saying to me. So I'm normally not in the wrong place at the wrong time. You know, I'm, I'm really, you know, I try, I try to try to just stay stay where I'm supposed to be, stay in alignment so that I'm able to receive the blessing. We're sitting here with I'm DJ the Positivity. Yes. <laughs> so, um, listen, I love you doing your thing as a female DJ. Like, Thank that's you. so inspiring. Um, and now we're here at the Find Your Light, which is so interesting because as a female DJ, of course, you found your light. Mm -hmm. So, um, what do you hope for the attendees to take away from your testimony and everything you have to say? Like, once you find your light, just don't give up. Like, don't let people stop you. Just go for it and go hard. It's one of the hardest things for you, you know, you know, finding your light and finding your journey. It's hard in a male-dominated industry, you know, but you just got to stick to your guns, you know what I mean? Stick to your morals, stick to everything and just work and work harder than them and expect to work harder than them and keep working harder than them. That's, Girl, that's, that's you, the way you can do it. Kick down them doors. Girl, kick them down. <laughs> I found my light by necessity, you know. I wanted to entertain. I wanted to write, produce, and act. And I knew it was my passion and my God-given ability. And I wanted to put it out there. But no one wanted to see it. So, you know, I had to take a non-traditional route to really get people to notice what I was doing out here. So, social media made it so I didn't have to wait for the big execs to come and find me and really take notice. It made it so that the public could just really go ahead and look at my content and I mean I have to wait for anyone. So is it scary at all? Life is scary but it's about pushing past fear. That's what life is all about. So you know as soon as you get scared keep going. Just you have to just keep going despite that fear. So I guess owning up to your failures, your mistakes and your also your successes. I mean it's the way that you become successful in life. Yeah. Ooh, yeah you, oh, you, you get me started. You get me started. Don't get me started yet. Now I want to ask you where did that come from? You know like did you just wake up one day and say hey I want to be a motivational speaker? Uh, Tell us the story. You know it's so crazy because I, I, uh, I lost my brother to gun violence at the age of eight. And my dad wasn't around, and so I was an honor roll student that had A's, B's, and uh, C's, and I went to a DNF student, and um, nobody would ever believe in me. And so one day I changed my life. I ended up giving my life to God. Ended up uh, after that changing my life. Started reading, getting my life together, and from that point forward, I then understood that everything that I was going through was not an attack against me. It was more of a revelation that I need to step into a place to talk to people who have gone through the same thing that I've been through. And so I'm like really excited that I went through everything. I wouldn't change anything. I hope to take away from this experience feeling empowered and enlightened by other people's stories. You know, I have my own story. I'm excited to talk about that on the panel today. But um, it's more interesting to me to sit down and just take in other people's stories and realize we all ended up here today in the same place, but all of our journeys and paths were so different. And it's just a really good reminder that, you know, regardless of where you want to end up or, or how far away you feel you are from that final destination, that there are multiple ways to get there. So I'm standing here with Mrs. Jasmine Diaz, a dating extraordinaire uh, of all things. all things. I need you to give all the people out there some Sorry. advice, okay. some dating advice so that they can find love too. First step, I would definitely say is to think about what you're looking for and whether or not it's realistic. Sometimes we have all these hopes and dreams, especially women. You know, we like the knight in shining armor that has all these things and sometimes it's not real for who we are. So that would be step one. Step two, don't stay home. You know, a lot of people stay in expecting for Superman to come find them, which is not not it. <laughs> so definitely put yourself out there. Get out there, start new things, try meetup groups, try online dating, whatever it is, just try. I think the biggest motivation for using my story or even my experiences was to know that there's so many more people going through it that don't know the way through it. 
And um, maybe even if it was one person that could hear my story and then take that and use that as motivation, then that'll help them out of whatever they're going through. You know, so um, like I said, it's a blessing to be able to even have people see you from a larger standpoint and then recognize what you do and relate to it. Work, 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 work. You see me do me da, 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 da.